Welcome back to The Bank Guide. I'm your bank guy, Colin. And today's another video in the Five Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. This video series is designed to basically make you an expert in Logic. So if you're a total beginner, it's definitely for you. And if you've been working in Logic for a while, it's definitely gonna show you some pretty cool things that you may or may not know about. It took me way too long to figure out a lot of these things. But today we're looking at how to convert the drummer track into MIDI so we can get full control over it. And this is a really cool, powerful, function that I didn't realize you could do for a long time. And really quick, before we get into it, I want to give you something. Logic Drummer is super powerful and sounds pretty good, but it can sound kind of fake. So I put together a guide that shows you how to make Logic Drum sound way more real. It's just a simple checklist that walks through some basic things that can make it sound way more real. It's completely free from link in the description below, so be sure to pick it up. Let's go and look at how to convert Logic Drummer to MIDI. So the first thing we need to do is create a software instrument track. And we'll start with that. And here it's gonna to default to be kind of a synth thing. We do not want that. We want to go and switch this to a drum kit sound. So just go over here in the library, you just hit Y to bring up the library and go back to drum kit. And then whatever drum kit sound you like, I think for this song, I like the SoCal kit, but I highly recommend you play around with some of the different sounds and make sure you find one that works for you in your song. And then to convert this down, it's super simple. All we have to do is select our track, which will select all the regions and hold option on the keyboard and drag this down. That's it. Now it's converted to MIDI and that gives us so much more control. So let me show you first one reason that I highly recommend it. And that's because anytime I select this track, I could accidentally change something here and completely change the drum part, or I could intentionally change it, but think that I'm only changing one region when in fact I'm actually changing every region. So you could easily throw off your entire drum part. So just moving it to MIDI just to save it and make sure that it can't get changed accidentally, I think is really helpful. So I always recommend this. Once you figure out your part with the drummer, move it down to MIDI. A lot of times I'll do it as I'm working on the song. I'll just drag it down kind of section by section as I figure out what I like. Highly recommend that. Let's go and look at what we can do with it now that it's in MIDI. So in addition to just locking it in, we now can really perfect it and edit it. So let's listen through a little bit of what we have going on with this drum part and see what we might want to change. And you say it's just to get out, yeah, it's just to get out. Okay, so for example, I don't think that symbol crash is really appropriate there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select it and delete it. Now, if you don't know where things are, they're listed over here on the left. And if you're not seeing this window, you just hit E on the keyboard to bring it up. As long as you're selected on the track, it will show you this little MIDI roll. And you can see everything over here. You can also just click on the keys over here until you find the sound that you're looking for if you're not familiar with it. But you can see over here, mid tom, hi hat, mid tom, hi tom, crash left. We just deleted a crash right, which is up here. So you can look through and find the parts. Okay, let's listen a little bit more. You say it's just to get out. Yeah, it's just I think it'd be kind of cool if it was like doo -doo -doo, doo -ka, doo -ka. So let's go ahead and just add in a couple of floor toms there. So let's see, is it on the floor tom or the mid tom? If I just drag up here, okay, yeah. So it's this tom right here, mid tom. So I just want to draw in a couple of extra notes right here. Let's listen to that. And you say it's just to get out. Okay, so it's the right rhythm, but right now you'll see that they're bright red, and that means that the velocity is all the way up, meaning that they're just going da da da. That's not really what I want. I kind of want it to be like a da da da, and so I want to lean into it. So I'm going to adjust my velocity down on both of them, and then what I like to do is imagine playing it. And typically, you're going to start with your right hand. For most drummers, your right hand is dominant, so I like to go da da da. And so I like to start hard and then go a little bit softer. Makes it just feel a little bit more real. So varying your velocities can really help with that. And generally speaking, going harder on the first hit and a little bit softer on the second hit can feel a little bit more realistic. And you say it's just to get out. Yeah, it's just now, I just want to throw out, that was a pretty advanced thing that I just mentioned, but do this to your ability. If that feels overwhelming, start by just changing things that are obvious. Take away crashes, maybe add an extra kick drum hit here or there. You know, if I just wanted to change this kick drum hit to be do do get, I could just add a kick, second kick drum hit. And you don't really have to get too complicated with it, right? So do this to your skill level, and then you can slowly build up. And if you're more comfortable, confident with drum stuff, you could kind of go crazy with this right off the bat. Okay, so 
you can see how powerful this is, right? We've locked in our drum part, so that's one reason to do it. And then we've kind of perfected it just with those couple little tweaks. It feels a little bit more custom tailored to the song, and that's really helpful. So before you go, if you don't have it, be sure to grab that Make Logic Drum Sound Real checklist from the link in the description below. It will help you make these drums sound way more realistic in a mixing sense, not in a configuring sense. You'll still need to do these things, but once you have your part, it's gonna make them sound way more real. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. Did you know you could do this with the Logic Drummer? Did you know you could convert it to MIDI? Let me know in the comments below. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another five minute Logic Expert. One thing at a time.